Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with the third week of August reads. This reading is going to be for the sign of Aquarius. So let's see what is coming up for Aquarians for this week time starting today from the 15th through the 21st of August 2021. In this reading we will be adding charms, oracle cards and color cards as well. So stay tuned for a lot more to come. And yeah, before I dive into the read, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone out there. So always Pick the signs and messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So yeah, let's see what is coming up for you for this week time. <coughs> Aquarius, let's begin. The Wheel of Fortune you will be experiencing uh, major uh, shifts in your life. Uh, it doesn't have to be about a specific area. It can be an overall experience of a uh, uh, changed experience that you would be having. Uh, be that your perspectives changing, be that your life around you is changing, be that you changing from within. There will be so many shifts happening for you in this uh, week time, which is going to make you see the things and the life around you from a fresher and a newer perspective. Uh, let's see more cards here. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. The wheel is turning in your favor now. Whatever you have been wishing, praying, hoping, you will have a strong chance of getting that all in your favor to get you what you want. So there is a strong possibility that you are, in this week time, going to get your one wish fulfilled. Or maybe more uh, more than one <laughs> but yeah i feel like you know there is a positive energy that you would be experiencing uh around you in this week time now again it can be coming because you have changed yourself towards you know the situations your attitude might have changed you might have changed from within you and now you're experiencing the outer world around you has changed as well so there is some sort of a uh, new uh energy entering in your life which is basically um it's, it's more like it's going to make you feel like, you know, the wheel is definitely turning in your favor and the good things, abundance, be that in love, work, finances, family situation is definitely heading towards you. So you have a strong chance of getting your wish fulfilled this week time. And back to in the very beginning of the week time. Uh, hold on. So, yeah, <clears throat> I forgot what I was talking about because I, I had a form to attend. But anyways, let's uh, dive more into it. I feel like, um, like I said, you are definitely going to get your wish fulfilled in this week time. And that too in the very beginning of the week time. Let's begin, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's have more cards now. Let's see what, is, uh, what else can you expect to create in this week time. Wow, seems like your, your, your wish regarding your love life is going to get granted. Now, it can be anything. Like, you know, it can be uh, for those of you who have uh, maybe given up your hope, uh, your desire, uh, around a specific someone something is shifting in the world around you which is going to bring your wish towards you without you putting any effort towards it maybe you have given up maybe you have felt like okay fine it's never going to be mine so i'm i need to move on you might have chosen to move on and that's the moment the wheel has started turning in your favor and you are going to get that specific someone back in your life to offer you nothing less than this now if you have been single if you have been looking for love the wheel is still getting, you know, it's turning in your favor and you are, you know, getting your wish granted regarding your love life. It can be a new person who's going to show up in your life and it's going to make you feel like you're worthy of this extraordinary kind of love, affection, compassionate energy that you deserve. So I feel like, you know, for majority of you, you will see some abundant um, energy entering in your love life for majority of you and that's going to bring you a lot of fulfillment emotional mental physical sexual as well i feel like you know the divine has been kind and it has brought you what you wanted uh maybe it, it took you time but it's going to be more than what you have asked for basically when it comes to your love life you know if you ask for a specific someone the universe is bringing you the specific someone with the with the what you have asked for even more than that maybe you have asked for a specific someone to reach out to you the God is, you know, the God delayed the whole thing up because he was preparing your person to come forward to you to rekindle the connection. Not just that, but to take it to the next level with you. So whatever you have asked for, know one thing for sure, the God is giving you more than that. 
Um, so whatever you ask for, you are getting more than that in this uh, week time with your love, uh, with the with your love life. Let's see one more card here. Let's see what else do we have coming up for you for this week time. The hangman. This is exactly what I was talking about. Maybe the, there were delays, but now since you're getting it, it's almost like, you know, like a miracle to you because you were not expecting it to happen. You felt that it was never going to come and then it's happening and that too so strong and so fast. Let's see one more card here. The devil. Wow. Know that, you know, it, it's more like you have to be very careful with one energy. Um, whatever you are setting your attention, uh, intention for and the, uh, maybe even now when you are checking this reading, maybe you have, uh, uh, you know, you might have decided, okay, fine, you don't want the past person and then you are intending something for yourself. Make sure you are prepared to have that. You know, if you are asking for a person who is possessive, obsessive about you, know that you are going to get more than that. So don't, you know, don't ask for something that you cannot take care of, right? Um, like, you know, for instance, if you are asking for a boyfriend or a girlfriend who's very possessive, who's very much in, you know, in addiction to you or your, your, your love, make sure you are ready and prepared for that kind of love, which is passionate, excited, or which is, you know, more like an addiction. So you have to be very prepared because you might just get it in this week time. So just be prepared. Now, for majority of you, you have already asked for it and you are exactly getting that kind of mad, crazy love in this time. Uh, so, yeah, just uh, even though there were certain delays, but the God has brought you the wish fulfillment in this week time. Let's see two more cards here. The lovers and the seven of cups. Um, four of wands. And in the deck, we do have the four of cups. Seven of Swords, underneath that, King of Cups, underneath that, Four of Pentacles. Now, I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, maybe there is a new person coming in and the past person is also coming in. Wow. Huh. Hold on. Yep. It seems like, you know, um, you will have a choice. You will have a choice. And you would uh, find yourself to be confused because uh, you are getting abundance of love in your life in terms of serious, genuine offers, like, you know, which can you uh, rely upon? Like, you know, these are offers that you can rely upon. Even if a past person is coming back, that person is also coming back to give you what you wanted. Um, if it's a new person, new person is also getting back with this intention. So if you have been praying for an ex and a new person as well, there you go, you got it all. <laughs> So it's going to be that kind of a week where you have to make a choice, you know, who you want to choose. New person, past person, or maybe it's all about two specific exes of yours. But yes, I feel like, you know, you are getting your wish granted regarding to your, you know, love life situation. Uh, let's see what the oracle has to add to the read. broken arrow embrace the energy of peace i feel like you know you might have left like i said earlier you might have left a specific someone in the past you felt like okay fine i'm ready to have something new in my life something changed within you and that's triggering this major shift in your life so you might have felt like you know okay fine i'm, I'm ready to move on because i deserve better the moment you decide that there you have this abundance coming in your life and i feel like you know it's, it's more like uh, something that you cannot even expect coming for you in this week time but it's going to be huge it's going to be beautiful it's going to be abundant energy coming in your love life let's see uh, one more card uh medicine guardian be open to healing information wow i feel like you know for a majority of you you're not going to choose the past person because uh, you would feel like you have healed from that connection you're going to choose for the new one especially if you have a past and a new person if you have just one person coming in in that situation maybe you're going to choose the boss person as well but if you have another person already and uh, somebody else has already approached you and is ready to give you what you wanted and if the past person then comes in i feel like you know you are going to just continue moving forward without giving chance to the past person so yeah let's see more earth cards what else is coming up for aquarians for this week time let's see <clears throat> the heart of the matter there is more going on than meets the eye 
Number 22. Angels are watching over you. They are giving you what you wanted. I feel like you have given up on your love life, to be very honest. I feel like you know, there is this energy that uh, you are just letting it be. Like, you know, you are surrendering it all to the God, to the divine. You have given up on the specific connection. You know what you want, what you desire. But at the same time, you're not wishing and hoping for a specific someone. And that's the moment if you have been, you know, praying, affirming for a specific someone, that person is also showing up. And then... Uh, in addition to that, there is a new person also coming towards you. So you cannot see things coming right now, but you are okay with that. You are trying the, you know, to let the universe take its due course to get you what you wanted. So let's see two color cards. Let's see which two colors could be lucky for you or significant for you in this week time. Be that in clothing or be that otherwise. Is your protect yourself number 36. For some of you, I feel like you, know, you have chosen to protect yourself and your emotions for the white one you are not going to be ready to waste your emotions to anyone for anyone who is not worthy of it so i feel like you are going to be very um, protective of your feelings emotions in this week time and uh wearing this shade of blue and pinch of white is going to be lucky for you spending some uh, time uh, under the sky is also going to help you um heal as well so let's take one more card emerald calm your uh, mind body and soul number 30. So number 30 or 36 could be significant numbers. Maybe it's the age of you or your person. But yes, emerald is also going to be lucky for you. You can also wear it in stone, uh, in, in uh, jewelry as well. Emerald stone, you can also wear it. It is going to bring you peace, uh, both, uh, you know, uh, in all three ways. To your mind, to your body, and to your soul. So you would feel like aligned to get what you want uh, without putting much effort. Emerald, if you want to wear, you can wear the gemstone emerald. Let's see the charms now. Let's see what the charms have to add to the week. <clears throat> so we do have the messages as well i am super possessive about you there you go i told you like you know this person is going to be very super possessive about you always on my mind you are going to be always on this person's mind they are going to be very possessive of you we don't have any alphabet here three of pentacles and queen of hearts you will be very loved you will have a lot of i feel like you know from multiple you will have uh, multiple people interested in you but these are the results of what you have asked for basically and that to in um, in a grand way uh, for some of you, you might be uh, attracting a person from uh, uh, overseas as well, uh, somebody who doesn't live where you live. Um, but yes, it's more like your, your magical wishes are coming true. You know, you might have been praying or farming for something beautiful and you never, sh you know, kind of uh, saw it coming true. And now you're getting it all at once. So you have uh, a door of heavens uh, opening to you, which is you know bringing in or showering in all the abundance that you once wanted uh no more of uh, you going uh, or having turbulent uh you know love life the angels are watching over you and you are protected um number 10 could also be very important or significant for you as well um Again, I feel like, you know, your person is going to be very possessive of you. So be ready for that kind of mad, crazy love coming up for you for all this week time. But yeah, I feel like, you know, this is going to be the romance of a lifetime for sure. Because uh, seems like, you know, this person is going to bring you all that you always wanted to have in your love life. And this is something that you prayed for, a form for. Um, but yeah, uh, this person should come up for you for this uh, week time. If the reading resonated, do like, share and subscribe. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye.